So welcome to this video where we're going to have a look at exoplanets, exomoons and exorings. So you've probably heard these names before, an exoplanet, we found three new exoplanets, but what is an exoplanet? That's what we're going to have a look at and define. So if we think about the normal planets in the solar system, they all orbit around the sun. So we've got a selection of planets here. When we think about a planet, they orbit a or orbit the sun. Now, if we then think about the moons in our solar system, they will then orbit the planets. So you've got the planets orbiting the sun, and then the smaller objects which are orbiting the planets are then known as moons. And here you've got the Galilean moons orbiting Jupiter. And then rings. So Saturn is the most obvious one. It has a ring around it, which is lots and lots of different or small particles all orbiting kind of in, the, in a common direction in the same plane. It's not the only object in the solar system to have a ring. So all of the outer planets have got rings. They're a bit smaller than Saturn. And even asteroids have got some rings. So these rings are then orbiting planets or smaller objects, which are then themselves orbiting the sun. So exo. So when we put exo in front of planet, moon or ring, it means that it's kind of extrasolar. And that means it's outside or beyond the sun. So it's an object orbiting a star that's not our sun. So that's what it refers to. So when we put exoplanet, we basically mean it's a planet that is orbiting a star that is not our sun. So a normal, <clears throat> a normal planet would be one that's orbiting our sun. An exoplanet would be a planet orbiting a different star outside of our solar system. And a moon or an exomoon would be orbiting that exoplanet, which would be orbiting a star that is not our sun. So these are moons orbiting planets outside of our solar system, which we then refer to as an exomoon. And then finally, an exoring is a ring system orbiting most likely a planet orbiting a different star again it's not orbiting our sun it's much further away and it's outside of our solar system so we would refer to that as an exo ring because it's a ring system outside of our solar system now have we discovered any so far well exoplanets yes we've got more than 5000 confirmed exoplanets that's planets orbiting stars other than our sun We've got a couple of candidate exomoons. There's none that have been definitively confirmed. So there's been some indications that there may be moons orbiting some planets. They're quite small compared to an actual exoplanet. Maybe the candidates aren't, but they're harder to find. So there's a couple of candidate moons that could be there. And then there's a handful of inferred and directly imaged exorings. So the exomoons and exorings, there's not that many confirmed or even not confirmed or candidates. But on the right there, you've got an image of a potential exomoon forming ring or disk around a very young planet. So this planet is orbiting its star, which is in the center. You then got a, a, a ring of material around that because it's still in the planet forming process. And then that young planet has got material orbiting it. And that would be referred to as like an exoring, but also, you could have moons forming in that. So thank you for watching. And if you enjoy, you can check out some of the other videos.